If you own a Williams Whitewater pinball machine, the chances are you're missing your Boulder Garden sign. This vid shows you how to make your own. First, you'll need a sheet of plexiglass in 1 16th inch thickness. That's the uh, thickness that Williams used on their signs. Most playfield plastics have odd shapes, but since this sign is a rectangle, uh, you could use a table saw to cut it out. On the other shapes, you could use a bandsaw. The corners were then rounded off using a belt sander. Normally, to get the edges clear on the sides of plexiglass, you'd use a flame to polish it. But seeing that this piece is too small to do that, I decided to use a buffing wheel with polishing paste. The most important step in the reproduction, of course, is to get a scanned image of the actual uh, part that you need to replicate. Then you would uh, work that scan in um, Photoshop, clean it up, adjust the colors, and adjust the image size. Then you would print it out on a sheet of paper, and then cut it out to be ready to work for the um, replacement. I used a straight edge razor to cut the images apart as I misplaced my X-Acto knife. The way to attach the images to the plexiglass is to use a spray adhesive such as this 3M Super 77. The final item you need for the reproduction is a way to attach the sign to an object. And what I chose for that is self-stick Velcro um, strips which is just ideal for this type of application. Here we have the Boulder Garden image cut away from the main sheet. And uh, it looks a little bit blurry, but that's because uh, the camera is out of focus right now. Here I'm going to prepare the plexiglass sign uh, to put the image on. As you see, it has the backing on it, the paper backing. And you want to keep that on it as long as you're working with the image as long as you possibly can. I mean working with the plexi. And what you want to do is remove one side of the backing material and make sure you don't touch the surface of the plexi with your fingertips at all. Try to keep it clean, keep the oils off of it. Now I'm ready to spray the adhesive. I better move the plexi out of the way. Just want a quick blast. That's it. Not too much, even though that was a little bit much, but you'd rather do a little bit less than that. You just want a very light, thin coating over the image. Now you want to take the plexiglass and center it. You want to draw a line in the middle to get any air bubbles and then go out from that line, pressing down. You can use a laminate to protect the back of this, but since that you can use the Velcro, that pretty much covers the back of that and makes it safe, so it won't be necessary to use that. The next step is to trim our Velcro to the back of our sign. Now the Velcro is, comes in two, two, two pieces to the set, one with the plastic loops on it, and the other is like a felt. It's the receiving end, or either one could be the receiving. I like to use the loop end, this end, on the back of the sign. What you want to do is trim it so it's just underneath the edges of your sign, so it won't be noticeable from the front at all. And you don't need to completely cover the sign. Velcro is extremely strong. I cut the Velcro using scissors because it's the best tool for doing that job. Um, you want to sandwich the loops and the felt together when you make the cut so that they are both even. And here you can see the size matched up for the sign. Now that you have the front and rear of the Velcro strips cut to the same size, you're ready to mount to the back of the sign. Since these are self-adhesive on the back and very strong, what you want to do Peel off the backing. Very carefully align it to the center of your sign. Your sign still with the plexi 
protection on it keep from scratching it up and you line it up and there you have it there's a mount for your sign now we simply peel off the backing the protective backing which is probably the hardest thing to do and and here we have our elusive boulder garden sign ready for mounting on our machine it's that simple There's the edges all polished so they're clear we have our backing this was a prior version that I had made and you can see it's much lighter and I used thicker plexi on it this is more toward the authentic color of the uh, machine. So now we'll take our boulder garden sign and we'll mount it to our whitewater machine. Okay, here's our boulder with the missing sign. And as you can see, I already taped on the adhesive, the backing for our boulder sign. Now we simply, simply take our boulder sign and line it up with the Velcro. Press firmly, and voila, brand new boulder garden sign. One well, of the pluses of using these signs with the Velcro is adhesive, you could always take them off whenever you want, if you have to. If your boulder gets broken and you need to replace it and you need the sign, you still have your sign. So that's a good good plus of having Velcro as a backing. There you have it.